Welcome to another one of my lead code videos. In this one, we'll do lead code 2500, delete greatest value in each row. So this was actually the problem of the contest this week. And the way it goes is you have a basically M by N matrix. And what we're going to do is from each, so from each row, we pick the highest value and remove it and then the maximum of the removed values is added to a sum. And then we keep doing that until we remove all the columns, right? So just walking through this example, in the first round, you have in this row, four is the highest, in this row, three is the highest. So we remove four and three, and the maximum value we removed is four. So we add four to our sum. And then in the next round, the maximum value in this row is 2, maximum value in this row is 3, so the maximum value we removed overall is 3, so we add 3 to that previous sum, so now it becomes 7. And then finally we're left with this, so we remove 1 and 1, and the maximum we removed is 1, so we add 1 to our previous sum, which was 7, plus 1, 8, so that's why the answer is 8. And you know, this example, you just have one grid, or sorry, one cell, and so you just remove that cell. And yeah, so the way we're going to solve this is since we need to, like, if you think about it on every iteration, we need to get the greatest value in for each row, right? So for every iteration, we get the va greatest value of each row, get the maxes of those, and then accumulate that in a sum, right? So we, ne we need some sort of way to efficiently pick the greatest value each time, right? Pick and then remove the greatest value. So like a priority queue or a heap is a perfect data structure for this, right? So we need a priority queue or a heap for each row, right? So I'm going to create uh, that first. So here we have a priority queue for each row. It's going to be array of grid dot length, which is the number of rows, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and save num rows and num columns in a variable so it makes it easier. So I've gone ahead and stored num rows and num columns in a variable and num rows is over here as because that's how many PQs we need. And it's guaranteed that grid at zero will exist because if you look at the constraints, we have one less than equal to mn right, which is the grid and grid at i dot length. So we are guaranteed that grid at zero will exist. So now that we have our priority queue for each row, let's go ahead and initialize these uh, priority queues. So loop through each index in the array and then assign each index to a new priority queue. And then we need the comparator of this priority queue to actually be reversed because we want to pick the highest integer first. We'll just do that by saying, we'll just do a, b, and then reverse it in the compare function. So that will flip the comparator. So now we have n priority queues and we've initialized them. So the next thing we would want to do is to put the elements in the priority queue, right? So we can probably do it right here. So once we initialize the priority queue for the row, we can go ahead and loop through the row and then insert the elements. So we can say, right, so we initialize the priority queue and then insert the elements. Once we've done that, now we need to create a loop to pop all the elements. And for each each time we pop one element of each row, we keep track of the max, right? So the number of times we're going to remove elements is equal to the number of columns, right? Because first we remove one column and then we will remove another column and so on. So in this case, you can see that there are three columns so that we remove three times, right? So we'll, I'll go ahead and create a loop for the number of columns. Each each round of removal, we need to keep track of the max, right? So we'll start by saying our max is integer dot min value. And then 
what we'll do is loop through all of the priority queues. Yeah, this for loop that will loop through all of the priority queues and then we'll keep track of our removed element. So we'll say pq for each row at i dot pull and then we'll say max equals math dot max removed comma max right and the, at the end of the loop we want to add max to our result so we have to keep track of a result variable which will be the sum of the maxes and at the end we return result so let's see how this does Okay, it doesn't like a generic array creation, so we'll just do that. Cool, the test case is passed, let's submit. Perfect, so thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.